back to the channel so today we're going to do a little fine tuning on my 2002 Camaro SS now last year I had this thing uh, dialed in or at least in my opinion we had it dialed in and uh, but recently I changed the it had a block cold air intake and I changed it out for the SLP and it's got uh, the SSRA Ram Air and normally that wouldn't be an issue, but because I got my mass air meter ported out, uh, when I put this on, it threw the tune off a little. Not real bad. Anyways, I pretty well got it dialed in now. I'm just going to take you guys out for one more trip here to show you how, how to fine-tune your mass air meter. And the reason I want to get it tuned in is because the next step is a set of gears. So I want to take this car out one more time and get a real accurate baseline so you guys can have a good idea of what kind of gains you'll get from gears. And if you go on the internet, you'll get 101 different answers. That's why I want to do this. So this here is what we're, we're putting in the car. Right now the car's got 323 gears and we're putting in a set of uh, Excel ring and pinion from Richmond, Richmond gear. Now these are kind of on the cheap side but uh, gears are gears in my opinion and far as strength goes this thing's so small it ain't got a whole lot of strength anyway but anyway these are 390 gears and I got the I got all the new bearings and what I did I ordered an extra set of the pin, the front and rear pinion bearings because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hone them out so it, sl so it slides on the it's just going to be a test bearing so it slides on the pinion so I don't have to have a press to press it on and off when I try to set the pinion depth with the pinion shims and then once I get everything set up then I'll use the gear that's unmodified and it will have to be pressed on but I think I know how to get it on without a press we'll put this in the freezer and put this in the oven and it should slide right on but we'll see that'll be something we'll see later on okay instead of using the normal crush sleeve when we're setting the the pinion bearing preload I'm going to use a solid shim and it uh, comes with some shims there to get it just right I figured I'd use that just in case I end up making a mistake this makes it a lot easier to take it apart because once you use them crush sleeves uh, you can't reuse them now this is going to be the first time I ever installed gears so uh, don't know how well it's going to go, but I've, I've watched enough videos, I think I can do it. And uh, I th from what I've seen, really the biggest thing is just having patience to do it over and over and over until you get everything right. And I got all the tools I need. I got a dial indicator and uh, my micrometer. The only thing, I, I got everything I need except for a press. And what I'm going to do is I'll check the carrier bearings. These are new carrier bearings. And if the factory ones are in good shape, I'm just going to... I'm just going to reuse them, but if they're not, then I'll have to take it somewhere and have the the carrier bearings pressed off and then uh, the new ones put on. And as far as using a pinion, like a test bearing, one thing you have to do is you have to get the exact same bearing, uh, make, the same make and model and everything, because if you, if you use a test bearing, you set it up and it's a different uh, make, it could be off just a tiny bit. And apparently, you, it just throws off all your all your uh, measurements. So anyway, I got the exact same make and model of bearing coming, and and like I say, I'm gonna hone one out for a test bearing. So anyway, we'll uh, we'll get back in the car here, and uh, we'll probably do a cold start for you, and uh, then I'll show you what I'm doing to fine tune the the mass air meter. Okay, guys, we're in the car here now. So what you want to do is open up HP Tuners, the editor. This computer is a little slow, so it'll take a minute here. And then you want to go into here where your tunes are saved. Now, this is the tune that's in the car right now. 
I just, you name it whatever you want, I just put a new high timing tune, SLP intake. And uh, the one that I actually, then I got two here. One's for tuning the mass air, and this, this one here is for uh, speed density tuning, which is your uh, volumetric efficiency. I've already done all this tuning. It's the mass to air meter that I want to uh, fine tune today. I've just about got it. This here will probably be the last trip. So I'm going to highlight that and open it. And then what I want to do, I want to flash this tune into the car. So i got to turn on the ignition without starting. And we'll just hit this button here to flash it. We'll write it. It doesn't take that long to flash a tune in one of these cars. Takes a little longer with the uh, 6th gen. Of course, this computer is just a cheap computer, too. Okay, so it's all completed. I'll just hit close. I'll close out the editor and then I want to go to the scanner. We'll start up the scanner. AFR error is the one that we're going to, we're interested in. And now I'm not going to go into detail how to set this up because if I tried to explain it, I'd just get you guys more confused. I'll, uh, we'll put up here, I'll just put up in the screen there the, the couple videos from goat rope garage that's the one you want to go to if you want to learn how to tune uh like uh ls1 camaro uh he's got lots of videos he's a way better teacher than i am he's got way more experience the whole point the actual point of this video was just to show that if an idiot like me can can tune their car then chances are good that you probably can too and uh this tuning yourself is really for people like me and the stunt man. We're on a budget, so we only do maybe one or two or three modifications per year. And if you were if you were paying somebody to tune your car every time you do a modification, it'd end up costing quite a bit of money. Now, if you're going out and getting head cam and intake all at once, you're probably better off getting it tuned by a, a like a, an experienced tuner on the dyno. And we're going to connect to the car. And you actually, you can just start it too. You want to make sure that your wideband is fully warmed up. You don't want to be recording false information in here because it'll do you no good. So I'll let the car warm up before we hit the record. So anyway, you can see the wideband is it's actually online now but I still like to let it warm up a little more okay so it's recording now you'll see right there it's right here that 2.44 means we're 2.44 percent lean where it says minus the minus means you're just slightly rich but anyway I've got this almost dialed in now you can't really get much better than like between two and three percent is once you get down in that area then you're pretty much good so this those numbers right there pretty tells me I'm pretty much good to go right now but we're gonna um, this is gonna be the final trip out because I've already done probably I've probably driven this car a couple hours doing this so I've got it almost tuned in now anyway guys we're out on the road now I'm not gonna be going wide open throttle I've already done all that uh, tuning already this here just the final tune we're just a budget channel, as you guys probably already figured out. But uh, tuning yourself can definitely save you some money. Now, if you're building a thousand horsepower engine and you don't have any experience tuning, you definitely want to go to somebody that's got the experience. as many cells as I can. I'll just give her a little 
bit of throttle here. Okay guys, so we're back in the driveway now and uh, I got the car shut off and you'll see that almost all these numbers are less than 1%, meaning I'm, I've got it dialed in about as good as you're going to get it. There's a couple up here that are a little over 1%. Like I said, it's you want to try to get below 3% off. And they're all really good. So I would say this the mass air meter on this thing is completely dialed in now. Now after I I uh, put that SLP intake on there, I had the numbers like this before with the van the Volant cold air intake, but when I put the SLP on there, these numbers all get up to uh, six, seven, eight percent, some some even uh, ten or eleven percent. So it definitely had to be redone. So anyway, what you do here, you just tap here and right click and put copy. And then we gotta go over back into the editor. And then we'll go back in and make sure we open up the math tuning. So we'll open that back up. And then I go into the engine airflow versus frequency and I'll tap here to highlight all of them and right click and put but instead of just pasting them in we'll put paste special multiply multiply by half and that should change them all and I'll just X out of that close this out and it should give you the option to save the changes yes save it under the same name okay so that's it and now if i was going to go out again i just use that same tune then when i'm done i take those numbers and i transfer them over to my actual tune so after you're all done your tuning you'll you'll take the numbers from this here your tuning uh the tune that you use for tuning your math you change or transfer them numbers over to the tune that you're going to use. Okay, so here I just uh, I took the numbers off the math tuning, and then I transferred them over to my tune that I use on the car. And I'll just back out of it. And when I quit, it'll tell me, ask, "Do you want to save changes?" Yes. New high timing tune. Yes. Okay, so now I'm going back into the editor and I'm going to flash my. This will be the final tune before we go testing. And you always want to go in here and make sure you're loading up the right tune. So I want the high, the new high timing tune SLP intake. Open. Turn the ignition on. Flash. That's all there is to it. Just hit right. Anyway, guys, I hope this video was helpful to somebody. And uh, I guess we'll catch you in the next one.